Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Orp here. Welcome back to Gun Meme Review. Today, we're going to be reviewing a bunch of different gun memes that I have collected over the past couple of weeks. But before we get into that, we need to cover a couple things. One, I'm sorry about the range, lack of range content. I know, I know I missed a couple of videos. I'm working on really, really big stuff, and I am stretched far too thin all over the place. And I am one person. I don't have a team. It's coming. Chill. Number two. This is towards the gun community of YouTube. Um, so we lost a fellow YouTuber. His name was Paul Harrell. I didn't know the guy. I've seen some of his videos and kind of tested his character. He seemed like a really, really cool dude. Prayers and condolences out to the families. It's, it's not fun losing someone. Um... For those of you who do not know on YouTube, he passed to, I believe, stage 4 pancreatic cancer. If I'm not mistaken. I'm not entirely sure on what it was. I know it was a cancer. I don't know if it was pancreatic cancer. In, I, in any situation, it's not a fun deal for that family right now. If you can go over to his channel, support them. I believe his brother Roy is taking over for him. And I do believe there is a... I don't know if it's GoFundMe or if it's... A petition for someone to create an AR-15 in his likeness. I'm not entirely sure. Um, be sure to check out some of these bigger uh, gun tubers, though. Brandon Herrera, uh, Kentucky Ballistics, Demolition Ranch. I'm pretty sure they'll have more information on what exactly they are doing to commemorate Paul Harrell and all of his uh, content. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just not fun. Not good at all. He's in a better place, though. So, there's that. I can't think of anything else to get to before the video, so without further ado, let's get to the video. Today, we have a host of gun memes. Most of these are TikTok videos I found across TikTok, of course. Um, yeah. You got this little graph here. This, this guy right here says it's a clip. Everyone up here says, no, it's a magazine. And everyone over here, it's a clip. Like, eh. It's a clip when you hold money in it. It's a magazine when you have content. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the point of this is. I call it magazine. I used to call it clip, and then I was made fun of, and now it's a magazine. So it's like, hmm. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I call it both. Halo says clip. Cod says mag. I shoot guns. Uh, Magazine? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't really know. So uh yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this first uh TikTok video. Hide that boom. Yay. So this is reminiscing over Call of Duty emblem stuff. Um, in the event you don't know what this is, it's essentially a emblem creator in some older Call of Duty. I believe this is Black Ops Three. Yeah, Black Ops Three. Argue Black Ops Three. Um, yeah, you get some people got really creative with this, and I believe I saw this emblem in lobby. Like someone did this, and I saw it firsthand. And you can see the amount of detail that's going into this. It's honestly crazy what some people do with these emblems. Crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. Next, mean. I can with this one. I used to get shot with these all the time. One moment. Yeah. Hang on. Boom. Yeah, I used to get shot with those all the time. <laughs> hurry, hurry, buddy. Reload. Run! <laughs> That's funny. I love that. <laughs> but could you imagine? 
us hang on oh uh, there was something there was <laughs> us when we're new to the range yeah you're this is your range buddy trying to reload his pistol for the very first time and then you with your friggin what is it your ar or ak souped up ak ar right just <laughs> just hauling all this attachment into one gun and they're they're over here like red what what's going on <laughs> <laughs> they still they're like yeah i can shoot a pistol pew <laughs> it's not intended to be at each other i meant range buddy as in you're on the range with a buddy and you're both shooting steel at a safe distance and <laughs> your friend is uh reloading <laughs> I find, this is funny. I can't believe I found that. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. But <laughs> next, next, uh, next meme. I think I did this one specifically so you could cook stuff on it. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. I think the laser was thirsty. Unless these get pretty hot. I was surprised. The laser, the, the, I think that was a laser on top. Is this, is this a laser? What is this? I think this is a laser. I'm not entirely sure. It was thirsty though. Man gave it a drink. The rifle was thirsty. I, I don't know. <laughs> next, next meme. Trying to make sure the hotkeys are working, so if you see a lot of light going in and out across my face, i sorry. We're done with that one. This is actually a pretty cool one. I don't know if you can see that or not. You could, you could see half of it. I'm, I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna click out of that. I'm gonna try and squint my eyes as close as I can to the screen. These flower shells are shotgun shells loaded with flower seeds instead of bird shot, buck shot, bird shot or buck shot. These shells can be shot into the ground to plant flowers. The idea is that instead of taking life from the world, you'll be giving life back. The dude who tried to break into my house. And you, you can see the, the the arrangement of flower on man's head. But I saw a meme earlier. I don't know why I didn't put it on this. But it was of the same concept, except the guy was actually digging out weeds and instead of doing it the proper way because he didn't have the tool but he had a shotgun i don't know why hang on i'm gonna see if i can find it. i can't find it but you guys know exactly what i'm talking about i don't want to say look up extreme gardening because that might lead you in the wrong direction but it went something along the lines of guy didn't have tool for gardening and they asked another guy said hey um can we use this tool instead they're like sure but i have an easier way we can do it a better tool if you don't mind me getting it out showing you and buddy's like okay go ahead show me how what's a quicker way of doing it brings out a shotgun blows the weeds out the ground <laughs> i found it funny i'm sorry i can't find the video next me <laughs> i don't i don't want I, okay so I'm pretty sure I had the same comment the first time I've seen this, too. When a gun jams, right, you have, in my in my experience, one of three things to occur. Either A, the bullet rides up and crashes into the roof, at which point I believe, I believe, the magazine either isn't sitted properly, there's too much crime, or the overall case length is too long. Two of those I know how to fix. One of those I don't. The magazine, I don't. Second thing is when you fire off a round and it doesn't want to eject. Not that it's stuck, but that when it comes out, it has enough lift to go up, but it gets caught by the slide on the way back, right? Is that because the spring is too... Uh, too wound i don't know how to say that without sounding stupid it's because the slide is just going back faster than the round is escaping or is that a grip thing how, how would you fix that 
And then, of course, the third being it. You fire it, and it gets stuck. Not entirely sure how to fix that. So, of course, keep the gun clean. But uh, aside from that, I I don't know. Let's continue watching though. He's got a good semi or semi single shot automatic. He got two up that time. That's almost like my Desert Eagle. If you've seen the videos I've posted of me shooting the Desert Eagle I have, um, you'll notice a lot of the time I shoot it, like I, I'll, I'll shoot it two or three times, and first two rounds will jam. The third, fourth, and fifth round will run fine, and then the last couple of rounds in there will just jam up. Each and every single one of them will jam individually, and they're always different. Every single one of them will always be a different reason for jamming. Same thing occurs with the Mark uh, 3 12 gauge I have from Sentry Arms. I'm not entirely sure, or not uh, Sentry Arms, G Force Arms. It, it happens every time with that too. And I figure it's the same, similar situation, similar, sim uh, similar issues, but different causalities. If that makes any sense. I understand this guy's pain. I do. I didn't record that. Oops. One moment. There we go. Uh, I'm uh... I don't know. Buddy is real shaky with that pistol. He's hitting paper every time. He's just real shaky with that pistol. But you see what I mean, though. Like, he, he had to every single shot, almost every single shot, he was pulling the slide back to get the next round of chamber. Because the first one would eject, but it wouldn't cycle. What would be the cause of that? Because on lighter pistols, like, that, that to me, this to me looks like a 9 mil, Maybe 45 ACP, maybe 10 mil, something like that. This is not a 50 caliber. This is not a shotgun. So at what what would cause something on this scale to prevent the next round from being loaded? And if it's something having to do with the mag, specifically speaking on a Desert Eagle, right? Because I know there are multiple different brands of magazines for Desert Eagles. I've had to personally get two more. In the event those don't work and you're not wanting to waste more money, what would you do to fix that? And if that's a question that YouTube doesn't like, uh, go to the links in the description and my channel description because both will lead to a Reddit that you can say that answer and no one will cry about it. So, yeah. I'll let the rest of this play. I don't know what would cause that, to be honest. This is a learning experience for both of us, so, yeah. I thought this was really freaking cool. Yeah, this right here, that is awesome, in my opinion. And that thing has some serious power. Like, look at that junk. That's wood, or cane. I guess I have to show it off. Hang on. I don't have one of those specifically, but hang on, let me get let me break it out real quick. I know it's hard to see with the lighting, but this is the uh this is an AK I built for Christmas like last year, I think. And it operates similar the same way. You wrap a rubber band around the uh front sight and then around the little thing back here. And essentially it just you pull the trigger and it's supposed to ride forward across that. And the tension will send it forward. Does it have enough power to do something like that, though? Like, that is honestly crazy to me, how much power that thing has. That tells you what human ingenuity can do, though. Crazy, wild results off of that. And it's rubber band powered, from the looks of it. Not that hard. Let me find it. Right there. You got rubber band. 
one small slide back. <laughs> I don't know if that is actual an actual site that he like painted over or he made, but that's pretty cool. That's a cool attachment to have had. I love that though. Oh, that's cool. He used a spool. That's nice. That's that's a really 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 cool uh, design. I wouldn't mind having one of those. I keep forgetting I have to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess that's what I'll do. I'll just leave it on this screen because, yeah, that that saves the time and effort. I could just put it up, call it a day. Um, from here. Boom. So just a just a quick run now. From from the stance. One, she's not leaned into it. There is no support here. Two, you could tell from this and the way she's holding it. One, she's either never been around firearms, or she's very afraid of what's about to come back at her. Which completely fair. It's a shotgun. Have the respect to be afraid. And to take that punch when you can't. She's not prepared. No one is teaching her how to be prepared when holding this. So, uh, that's first test all sign. Just from the two fingers holding onto it right here. And then a far out extended arm with a loose grip. From what I can tell. And then this right here is pretty firm. She's got a good firm grip on the grip. No. But she's limp wristing. You can tell because she's... It's an uncomfortable angle to be holding that. And because this this is a shotgun, it's going to come back quicker than it's going to go up. This right here, no bueno. You want to have it stuck out in a straight line. Your shoulder, your elbow, and your hand should be in a straight line when holding a short barrel, or not short barrel, a stockless shotgun. Sorry, I almost messed up there. And if you're going to hold it out in front of you like that, even more so, I would hold it lower down to the hip. Yes, it'd be a little bit more uncomfortable, but you're hoping that the limits of your joints, you're using your joints over your padding to reduce that recoil to catch it. Yep. Yeah. You could tell the second she shot it, she let go right there. She let go with her hand altogether. And she, wa she wanted to hit her target, which was the good thing to do. But because this right here was not prepared until it was too late, and she decided to let go with this hand, it almost smacked her in the face. And she almost got a face full. She understands now. <laughs> not to not to mess up with holding a shotgun. So hopefully it was a lesson learned. She didn't really get hurt. There was no black eye or anything. So hang on. Yeah, you can see it didn't hit her face. There was plenty of airspace between the back of this and her nose. I'm saying it didn't hit her face, so. But yeah. Lesson learned on that one. Next! Meme! <clears throat> what not to do after you walk out of a gun store with it. Wow. Wow. Living the life, but man, if even one wrong person was around, that that this would not be posted. Nice video though, like that's really really cool. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. 
I'm looking at the gun. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. Looks cool. I wouldn't mind having it. I'm with this dude, though. <laughs> Ain't none of them get the... I'm pretty sure it's the foam projectile that is being sent out of this thing. Ain't not one of them gonna get picked up. <laughs> That's crazy. Thanks, meme. <laughs> I'm reminded that this is what every every uh, gun person wants their guns to sound like, so they're not having to wear ear protection. I can guarantee you this is what we wish that, that all the guns sounded like, every single one of them. But I'm brought back to the video of Markiplier's cat video, you know what I'm talking about? The, 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 the one with the most views on his channel. That's what I'm reminded of when I see this. <laughs> cool shot. I think I've seen this music video too. I, I'm not entirely sure. Th this is something that I'm I'm more than definite someone has recorded with music over it. But for the sake of hang on, I wonder can I can I can I wonder if I can do this? <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> so I recorded a chihuahua for that one specifically. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that that in my opinion is amazing <laughs> i don't know if i can show any of the reloading parts on youtube because youtube is the way youtube is but that's what i was hearing the whole time bro <laughs> that's pretty funny i like that though <laughs> thanks mean wow Aww. Give me this one. Oh, get that drop. Yep. <laughs> we blow so up. I've never messed with flare guns before, but I honestly don't think that'd be a smart idea. So long, dude. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my uh, god, cock it back and shoot it again. Yeah. Okay, whew. Good. My ears are At least it went off a second time. I feel like oh my god what's the what's the general recommendation I think that's my biggest question about this is if you have a light primer strike right meaning you've pulled the trigger hammers you, you hear the click as though it's supposed to go it's supposed to shoot strike that primer let the bullet fly what's the recommendation for when it's a light primer strike 
the round is still in the gun. Because everywhere I look at and see, they recommend wait 5-10 minutes for it to go off. Because it could still go off. Some powders are slow burners. Give it a minute. If it didn't go off, are we? Are you supposed to try again? Are you supposed to rack it and send the everything out in one well in one fell swoop as to not hurt anybody what's the recommendation on that in my opinion opinion not official fact not a safety recommendation because i do some crazy stuff and what my next video is going to be is pretty dang crazy if i do say so myself what exactly do you do at this point at this instance because for all you know, that round could be cooking in there. That could be a bad day for everybody. These guys handled it pretty well. I mean, they, it it seemed to operate well right here. Well enough that if they struck it again, it would go off. What would you do if this were you? In my opinion, I think I would handle it just like these guys did. I wouldn't try and manipulate the rifle or pistol as much as I can. Instead, I'd cock the hammer back, try again. If it strikes, yay. And on that same note, if it's not the rounds, right? Say you take the round, you put it in a gun, pew, and it's the same brand of ammunition. Would you... Eh, the, the second gun, obviously, didn't work because it's like primer strike. Um... Would you begin to inspect the firearm for deficiencies, like broken firing pin, messy stuff or whatnot? At what point do you consider looking at it and going, okay, because this isn't working, something has to change? The obvious is before it catastrophically malfunctions, but where it is right now, fire what round you have, Empty the magazine and the chamber before pulling the trigger a third time because you just let rip around that was just light tapped. Would you take it apart then and there and inspect, or would you put it away for a little while? I, I feel like that'd be the safer option is to put it away and then inspect later. But if someone else wants to shoot it and you're expecting to hand it off to someone to have a little fun with it on the range, would you tear it down right then and there? And in the event a piece is broken or not, would you still allow someone else to shoot it knowing that some of those pieces might be broken or a little messy? Because I know dirty guns can do the same thing. Too much resistance, not enough oomph behind the uh, hammer or pin. Next beam. Sorry, I know that seemed like it was taking forever. Vertical, you know, brain. One, two, dang. So, I'm pretty sure I've seen this recommended everywhere else. I'm pretty sure I've recommended it on my channel. When you're handling a high-powered revolver and you're new, ask them how many rounds are in it and if you can knock it down to one so you can not shoot holes through someone's ceiling. Because that sucks. You don't want that to occur. <laughs> That's not good at all. <laughs> so, I think... The general consensus is when a gun goes off twice, it's because of the reaction of the person behind it. Because the gun can't fire twice on its own. Instead, it... I have two of the exact same revolver this guy is shooting. I have two of them. That revolver specifically is a double action revolver, meaning you can pull the hammer back, pull the trigger, boom, or you could just pull the trigger, boom. 
typically what's happening here is when someone is hit with a large amount of recoil from a high powered revolver such as this they want to tense up in response and try to mitigate the recoil so they're not fighting people correct decision wrong action the decision should have been instead of holding the gun just letting it travel don't go and grip it hold it and keep it in your hand long enough for it to travel and after you shoot the first round take the finger off the trigger Again, this guy's new. He probably doesn't know anything about the high-power revolver. So instead, what he chooses to do is grip with all of his strength back onto the gun. Well, what he doesn't realize is after the hammers drop the first time, it's effectively reset on a double-action revolver. So when he goes to grip, he's actually forgetting his trigger finger is still in that trigger guard. So what happens is he'll grip firmly a second time. And with that same grip, he will let it go a second time. But because he's already in motion with the general mass, he's not going to feel much. Because he's applying his force at that point. Making a double tap more likely. When handling a new revolver, a heavy caliber revolver, ask. Doesn't matter if it's heavy or not. Ask anyway. So that way, at least you're in the safe and... You're not flagging people. And and the general vibe is centered on safety. So no one's getting hurt. I feel bad for this establishment. Because even this guy is like, hang on. Should not have gone off twice. What happened here? Well, that happened. And it didn't malfunction. You can see it in the end. That is a completely intact revolver. It's not like it catastrophically malfunctioned. So... By default, it's assumed that it's on the shooter, not the gun. So, just keep that in mind. I think this next meme will be it, and we'll call it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. It tells me you enjoyed the video and you wouldn't mind seeing more. Comment down below what your favorite meme was. And also, be sure to check out all the links in the description, as well as the channel description. They are not different. They are the exact same. The channel description essentially hosts a less or amount allowing you to go to the platforms that give you more content as well as lengthier and or shorter content depending on which one you go to i think the shortest form of content i've posted yet is on my tiktok and on this youtube specifically um the channels in the description lead you to the different social media platforms i am on so you could be seeing different posts there as well be sure to check them all out because again more content if you like this kind of content, I'll be sure to post more. Also, be sure to check out my Twitch because we stream there every other weekend. And we don't have much gun content on it yet because I'm not entirely sure what the guidelines are for streaming gun meme related stuff on Twitch. I will be sure to check those guidelines here soon. Um, I'll also be beginning to stream on a YouTube channel. So... If you manage to catch any of the videos or streams on that channel, they will go into further detail as to why I'm streaming on two different platforms instead of one and keeping it centralized. Go with it. I'm sorry. And the, the, that channel will explain exactly why I've changed the way I'm doing things. Um, be sure to tune in to the next video I post because I'm going to be doing something really crazy and I am intending to come out of it unscathed so yeah with that said and out the way let's continue with this last meme that would be awesome that'd be pretty cool <laughs> never do this this is obviously fake that's cool. That's actually pretty dang sick. I love that. Bro is... That is awesome. That's amazing. I wonder what the most like detailed one is. Because I, I remember seeing uh, the Mona Lisa painted from the Mythbusters thing, right? 
I wonder if you could do that with an actual firearm, though. That'd be pretty cool. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.